8.4 laws of logarithms. Now the most important thing about these laws is that they can only be used if all the logarithms have the same base. Okay, if they have a different base and, and you're asked to evaluate something, you would need to evaluate each of them separately. Okay, so let's look at the laws, the product law. It says the log base b of x times y is equal to the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. Okay, so it's multiplying, you add them, you can add them separately as separate logs. If you're dividing, you subtract them. It's kind of like exponent laws, isn't it? When you were multiplying and the bases are the same, you added the exponents. When you're dividing, you subtracted the exponents. And if you have log base b of b to the x, you can write that, and this is the little bit tricky one, it's y goes to the front, so it's y times the log base b x. Now we'll do lots of examples so that you'll be really good at this by the time I go through all the examples. Most of these, or actually all of them I believe, are from your textbook. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. Log base 3, 4 minus log base 3, 2. Okay, so we have a minus sign here. Now, see, I couldn't evaluate these individually anyway, right? What do I raise 3 to to get 4? Now, I could do it using the change of base formula, but they want you to simplify and write it as a single log. So usually that's what the question will say, write as a single log. So that means that this is the log base 3 of 4 over 2, which of course is just, oh, I shouldn't, I should have left a little more room. Never write two equal signs on one line, right? That's one of those, please, teacher do, tells you, do not do this, but I did. Okay, this one, log base 4, 10. So notice they all have the same base of 4. These two I'm multiplying together because there's a plus sign here. So I can, you're going forward and backwards, right? If you're adding them, then you can multiply them. If they're multiplied, you can split them up. So the rule goes back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to multiply these two numbers together. And because this is minus, then I'm going to divide by 20. So that's just going to be log base 4 of 10 times 12 divided by 20. And you probably see that's log base 4, 6. Okay, that's as easy as it is. Let's look at this one here. Log, now remember the 3 in front. We have a 3 in here. This is the cubed root, and that raises it to the 1 third power. So I can write this as log. Now, there's no base written here. If there's no base, it's the base of 10. You don't have to write 10 here. If there's nothing written, it is assumed that it is a 10. So this is 45 to the 1 third power. And this one means I can write it like this, 1 third log of 45. Now you could evaluate this, right? The log of 45. If it, this didn't ask you to evaluate this question, but you could find the log of 45 because this is just a number, right? You can evaluate that in your calculator because it's already base 10. You can just plug in log 45, close the bracket, divided by 3, and you would get a value for this. But that's not what the question was asking, but you might need to do that at some point. Okay, log base 7, 36 to the 0 0.5. Well, this one, I thought a little bit about it because you could actually do it two ways, right? This is 0 0.5. This would just be the log base 7 of 6 because this is to the 1 half power, which is the square root. So I can write it like this. But if they were trying to get you to apply this exponent law, then you could write it as 1 half log base 7. 36. So either way, I, I think this was kind of, this one makes more sense to me to do it like that, but I think the textbook answer was like that one. Okay, let's look at these last two. Log 50 plus log 2. Okay, so remember now I said the base is here. The base here would be 10, right? So if the base is 10, they have the same base, and that means I can just multiply them together, and that would be log of 100, 50 times 2, 
And what do I raise 10 to? There's a little 10 here. Doesn't have to be written, but you can. So what do I raise 10 to to get 100? Oh, your answer is 2. Okay, this one, the log of the square root of 10. So again, the square root, that's the half power. So this is log of 10 to the 1 half. And what's the answer to that? Well, you know this is log base 10. So it's like asking, what do I raise 10 to to get 10 to the half? And the answer, of course, is 1 half. Okay, we've got a few more exercises here on the back. And we'll bring this down so you can see it. Now, here we've got a whole bunch of things. First check, they're all base 6. Always do that, even though, you know, it's not always going to be that way. Somebody's going to mix it up, and you're going to have to realize that you can't you can't apply the, the, the rules of logarithms. Okay, so they're all base 6. So I have 54 times 2 divided by 3. That's all you have to do. Log base 6, 54 times 2 divided by 3. And that, of course, so how many times? 15, 18 times 2 is log base 6, 36. And I bet you can tell me the answer to that. You might want to write it out as 6 squared first. You don't have to, because I'm sure if I asked you, what do I raise 6 to 2 to get 36? You would say 2. And that, of course, is the solution. Okay, this one here, log base 8. Okay, they're all base 8. Yes, so I can just apply the, the rules. If I see a plus sign, I'm going to multiply them. Um, this is out front, so I want to bring this up here first. I can't multiply it and then just forget about this half. And same thing with this one. I can't just say, oh, let's just multiply these together because what, are you, what have you done with this then? So this has to go up here. This has to go up here. Okay, so let's write that out once we've changed the place here. So this is log base 8 of 2 to the power of 3. Remember, this is now the exponent, and that's 8. And this is log base 8 of 16 to the half power, which is 4, the square root, right? The half power is the square root. Okay, now I can multiply them. So I have 2 times 8 times 4. Or you could just multiply these ones and add 1. Because this answer is just 1. What do I raise 8 to to get 8? But let's just multiply them all. So 2, 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. So log base 8, 64. What do I raise 8 to? What power do I raise 8 to to get 64? 2. They all look so complicated until you start simplifying them, right? And then it's like, oh, that was so easy. Okay, this one, this is a log base B, and then they have this underneath. And the question was, express in terms of log base B of X, log base BY, log base BZ. In other words, they want you to, instead of combining them like we did with this one, they want you to go from this up to this. Like, how can you change this so it's all three different logs? Okay, so the first thing I need to know is that this, all this, is raised to the half power, right? So because that's all the half power, then I can write this as log base b of, this is x to the 5 to the half. So this is log base b of 5 to the half power, right? 5 to the half power. Um, well, it means 5 times a half, right? So it would be like this. x to the 5 to the 1 half. So it should be in brackets. And 5 times 1 half, of course, would be 5 halves. Um, well, I forgot the x. That's what's happening here. So what happened? I lost something. Oh, even teachers make mistakes, don't they? You catch your teacher's mistakes in class. If you keep awake, you probably do. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now we've got it all figured out. And this one is going to be um, y to the one half. 
and z to the 3 halves. In other words, I just took the this all to the half power. And remember that when you have something, everything's to the half power, then the power has to be multiplied by everything inside, right? Okay, so now we've got this, and now I'm going to break it up. These are all multiplied, so that means I can add them up. So this is base b of x to the 5 halves plus log base b of y to the 1 half plus log base b b of z to the 3 halves. And now, because this is an exponent, you can write it out in front. I'm going to bring it over here because I've got lots of room. So that's going to be 5 halves log base b x plus 1 half log base b of y plus 3 halves log base b of z. And finally, if you want to get really clever, you can factor out a half out of each, each of these terms. So I would have a half, 5 log base b x, plus, I took out the half, so I just have log base b y, and I have 3 log base b z. Close the bracket. Okay, so you can expand it back, you get this, and then you could, you could work it all backwards if you wanted to, but that's what they're asking you to do in this question, and, and some of my students had trouble with that, so I tried to tried to explain a little carefully for you. Okay, let's look at number, well I went to 11 here and then I decided I would do some from 10, but we'll do 11 first, doesn't matter. So I have log base 6 of a minus log base 6 of b plus log base 6 of c. So these ones, this is in brackets, so I'm going to do the multiplication first. So I have log base 6 of a minus and because this is a plus, it means I can write it as a product of the two terms, like this. And then finally, to write it uh, in terms of one logarithm, this is a minus, means dividing. So there you go. And you probably put this in brackets, because then it doesn't look like you're combining the, the six in here. Okay. And number three. Uh, sorry, 3f, 11f, 3 log 4x plus 2 log 4x minus log 4y. Okay, we have all the same bases, but what I have to do first is I have to move these, these numbers in the front and make them exponents first. This one doesn't have one. Okay, so this is going to be log base 4 of x cubed plus log base 4 x squared minus log base 4y. And now I can apply the rules. So adding means I'm going to multiply them. So that's going to be log base 4 of x cubed times x squared divided by y. And of course you can simplify this because if you're multiplying and the bases are the same, you add the exponents. So that's x to the fifth over y and my maybe some little brackets just to make it look pretty okay two more questions number 10 here so this one we have it equal to something log base 448 so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply these because it says plus right so we multiply and we get this so now that i say log base 4 of 12x equals log base 4 of 48, that just means that this has to be equal to this. So I just say, well, that means 12x is 48, so x is equal to 4. And if you plug that back in here, you'd see if I put a 4 here and I multiplied them, I would have log base 4 of 48, log base 4 of 48 equals, yay, right. Okay, and the last one I'm going to do for you here, um, letter F here of number 10, and we're going to, first of all, um, write this side. We're going to simplify this side. Because it's a minus here, that means we can divide them. So log base 5 of x over 8 equals, notice they're all log base 5s, 
So log base 5. Now I can't just multiply these two because there was a 3 here. So I must bring the 3 up here as an exponent. And 2 cubed is 8. And now I have 8 times 6. So I have 48. And now, because they're the same logs, I can just kind of ignore this and solve this little, this little equation here. x over 8 is 48. So x is equal to 48 times 8. 8 eighths are 64. And 32 and 6 is 38. Okay, so that's your lesson on, what was it called? The Laws of Logarithms, 8.4. Please subscribe. Let me know how you're finding the lessons. And give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know you're out there. Bye for now.